Welcome everyone for our second lecture talking about measuring GDP and economic growth. In our first lecture we talked about the macroeconomic questions and the first one was what determines the standards of living and we ended talking about it is determined through the average income per person. So how do we calculate the average income per person? It is our topic for today so let's go and see what we're gonna talk about. Like any company tries to figure out its financial results, also country tries to figure out its economic results. One of the main indicators for economic performance is the GDP. So this will be our first stop talking about how do we calculate the GDP. We will be introduced to a model talking about the different transactions that take in, takes place into the economy and we will end up explaining how do we calculate the GDP. So we're going to talk about the difference between the real GDP and the nominal GDP and a deflator, which is a measure for the prices. Also, we will go for talking about the economic growth. How does real GDP measure the economic growth? And we will end up talking about some defects in the GDP when it comes to answering questions regarding the economic parameters of the economy of one country. So let's go. In our first unit, we're going to talk about the GDP definition, how GDP is defined. Well, GDP is, stands for the gross domestic product. So the G is gross, D is domestic, and P is for product. So how do we calculate the GDP? It's the market value of all final goods and services produced within a country in a given time period. So we have four corners for this definition. First, market value. When we calculate the GDP, we calculate it at the prices at the market, not at the factors of production cost. So it includes the profit of the producers. So if you go to McDonald's and you got yourself a Big Mac, what price we gonna we gonna what you will find in your receipt will be the price of Big Mac then the taxation, then the total that you are paying. So what we will go for is the total that you are paying. Then we're gonna talk, the GDP is actually includes only final goods and services. It excludes intermediate goods. So if we have wheat, and we turn this wheat into bread, We're going to calculate the bread, but not the wheat. Why? Because wheat is an intermediate good and GDP will take in consideration the final goods only to avoid double accounting. Well, it is produced within a country regardless of the nationality of the producer. So if, you, if we have a French businessman that has started a factory in Egypt, the production of this factory will be part of the Egyptian GDP and vice versa. If there is an Egyptian businessman producing in France, the production of the Egyptian, the, the Egyptian owned factory <coughs> placed in France will be also included in the French GDP. In a given time period, usually GDP is calculated quarterly or annually every three months or by the end of the year. So our author is reminding us that GDP is the market value. So it is valued at dollar value or at currency value. So if we are in Egypt, it will be calculated in Egyptian pound. If we are in the States, it will be calculated in dollars, etc. Well, secondly, it only includes final goods and services and it ex excludes intermediate goods to avoid double counting. When we calculate the GDP, it's either on quarterly bay and every, every quarter or by annual basis every year. So at this point, we know that the GDP is the gross domestic product. It's a way of calculating the production of a country. 
it's one of the main indicators or economic indicators of the country. It calculates the value of final goods and services produced within the country in a given time period. This is our first unit and let's go for our second unit talking about how do we calculate GDP? What is the equation that we use to calculate the GDP?